had he stayed in Lawrenceville, he wouldn't have been called to the service. Every section of the city had to have a quota, and Lawrenceville had an abundance of quota. But because he lived in Dormont, where a lot of people were going to college and all this, and they weren't getting enough in their quota, even though Jim was married, and I think he had a child, maybe had more than one, he was called and had to go to war, the Second World War. He said, I should have stayed in Lawrenceville, and he wouldn't have had to go, see, because every section of the city at that time had to meet a quota. And whether he was married and had tits or not, didn't matter. But at any rate, then, when he was called, uh, I think they did move in with Marie for a while. And then they got into the projects on the north side. He was called to the Army, and they moved in with Marie for not too long, but they were there. On 40th Street, where we, she always lived. Yeah. Dad was still there. Dad was okay. still living. Marie and Dad, they moved in, and I think they had, I don't know what for, but they weren't there too long. Then they moved into the north side, and uh, they lived there. And it's there, there is what Jim was telling us once. He came home on leave from the war. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. They knew he was coming home, and she was all excited. I don't know which, which girl it was, but one of them. And she got up, and the mother didn't know it. And she went out in her nightgown, her night clothes, to look for her daddy. He was coming up, and the police picked, picked her up. And they brought her home. But anyhow, Jim says, can you imagine coming home and your daughter's in the police station? <laughs> she, in her nightgown. <laughs> she was looking for her daddy. About my days in the Navy, everybody thinks it was a bad thing for me to go in the Navy. But I had it nice. Grandma had it tough with three kids. She had the tough life. I had, it was gravy for me. Because I would end the boot camp. Hell, boot camp was supposed to be eight weeks, but they put us out in six weeks because they needed people. Went to boot camp in Great Lakes, Chicago, Illinois. Great Lakes, Illinois. <laughs> Boot camp was nothing. I mean, it was uh, well. The worst, the worst part of boot camp was when we had our service week. Everybody had a service week. Service week, we would be over in the mess hall at five o'clock, and we wouldn't get back to our barracks until about seven or eight at night after we served meals all day. And we'd get back to our barracks and we'd have to wash our whites because we wore white, white, our white uniforms over the mess hall and had to wash them every night so that they'd be dry by the next morning. <laughs> but the Navy was a ball, I'd say. It was a good experience and it was no hardship. Because after, after six weeks and in boot camp, we got a 10-day leave. We went home for 10 days and then came back. And then we were in, I was in a, I guess what they call the OGU unit, waiting to go out. We waited, I was, we stayed about two weeks there. And hell, we had Saturday and Sunday off to go do whatever we want. And sometimes during the week, that let us go into Chicago and somebody went some help down in Chicago workers and it uh, let us go. I worked, uh, well, I worked about four or five, maybe six days out of the two weeks that I was there down in Chicago. A couple of days I worked for Wilson's, Wilson Meatpacking, and a couple of days I worked for the I guess what they called the quartermasters. Worked on uh, loading docks, shipping stuff all over the country. 
something like UPS or something. You know? And we got paid for it. Most of the money I sent home. Of course, if I wanted to buy myself something good, I, I had extra money. <coughs> and the money wasn't bad. The money, when we were in the Navy, she made her, her allotment with what I gave and her allotment. Why, she made as much money as I made working before we went in the Navy. I had a saying up in Milwaukee. I'd like to know what it meant. I think it must have been German. But their saying was, she met you like it. And that, that was their slogan for Milwaukee. I, it must have had something to do with the servicemen or something. Because everywhere we went, we'd hear it. But I never got to know what it meant. <laughs> but we had a ball. I mean, we had good times. Hell, we had, didn't have to spend any money. and Had wonderful times. They'd come in and drag you out. I get dragged out to a party on a Saturday night. Some girl come along and, come on, you're going. <laughs> come to USO and then pick up all the guys in there and haul them to a party. <laughs> but when I got down to Navy Pier in Chicago, and we traveled, we weren't allowed to go up that far. We could only go 30 miles or something like that. All we were allowed to go away from the base. So I didn't get back to Milwaukee. <laughs> but Chicago was good. We'd go to the USO and get tickets. I, I seen ice shows right from first row right on the rink. Put on these ice shows. It's not, we could go to movies. Went to see Abe's Irish Rose when I was there. else did I see? Well, I went to, I went to see, see drama, and stage acting, you know. Stuff you'd go pay $50 to see today. <laughs> but we had a ball. But when it got the Navy Pier, you couldn't go to work anywhere. We had to go to school every day, but we had weekends. We had to go out on the, into Chicago. Eight weeks. Diesel. That was after boot camp. See, instead of when I got sent there to go to school, we had guys that was in boot camp with me that got killed out in the Pacific. They were sent to the Pacific and put on a ship. And the Japs blew up the ship, and a couple of guys that I went to boot camp with were killed while I was sitting in Navy school. <laughs> reading about diesel engines and stuff like that. We didn't get to learn a whole lot. We, well, we learned how to take them apart. <laughs> how to adjust the jets on them and stuff like that. So when I got on the ship, well, from Navy, from Navy Pier, then I went to Norfolk. And I went to Norfolk for advanced diesel training. And I was down there six weeks. 